Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Julissa. Hola, bienvenidos a un nuevo video. Si no me conocen, mi nombre es Julissa y bienvenidos a mi canal. Okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like every time I record, I always say it's been a long time, but it's been a long time. <sighs> so today's video, we're going to be doing answering some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. So el video de hoy va a ser respondiendo algunas preguntas que ustedes me preguntaron en mi Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, uh, my Instagram will be linked below or somewhere right here on the screen. Si no me siguen en Instagram, para la siguiente vez que haga esto, me pueden hacer preguntas. Voy a poner mi Instagram aquí o en el enlace que está abajo. Ok, let's begin. So, I had to screenshot the, the questions because there was a lot. And uh, the post deletes after 24 hours, I believe. So... Yeah, I screenshotted them. And if you ask me questions on Saturday night, I probably won't be answering those because it was already like past the day that I posted. I think I posted it on Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it was Friday. So let's begin. The first question that I got asked was, ¿Cuántos novios has tenido? Uh, that's just a weird ass question. Not a weird ass question, but like, I don't know. No, I'm kidding. Okay, ¿cuántos novios has tenido? I honestly don't count my middle school boyfriends because those were not even like, like a real relationship. They were just like, oh, let's hold hands, you know? So like official boyfriends, uh, I would say I've had three. Three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question, what is your favorite candy? Okay, so my favorite candy, you see, I don't really like candy like that. I prefer chocolate, but that wasn't the question. <laughs> so my favorite candy, I would say are Gushers. I don't know if that's considered candy or a fruit snack. I think it's a candy. It's a candy, right? <laughs> Okay, I think it's a candy. If you don't know what gushes are, I'll put them right here. Hopefully, so you know what gushes are. Those are my favorite candies. I see my kid and comprar gushers. Mandamelo. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> if you could rate your 2021 from a 1 to a 10, what would it be? 2021. Uh, I would say a 8. A solid 8. Just because... I don't know, there's been a lot of ups and downs, but I mean, that's normal, right? So yeah, I would say an 8. It's been okay. It hasn't been like too hectic of a year, but it's it's okay. Um, yeah, I'm so ready for 2022 though, like, ready. <laughs> and I turned 21 in a few days, so I mean, I guess 2021 wasn't that bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sticking with an 8. Okay, next question. ¿De qué parte de Zacatecas eres? Bueno, um, uh, what, 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 why am I even thinking about this? So, um, yo soy de Villanueva. Está por Jerez. Like it's, está, está cerquitas. Pero ya, yeah, soy de Villanueva, Zacatecas. <coughs> La quinta pregunta, creo. ¿Te gusta ir de compras? I love shopping. Me encanta ir de compras. Como me dice mamá, gastas el dinero que no tienes. <ríe> ya, yeah, me gusta ir de compras mucho, pero ahora estoy tratando de bajar mi obsesión con ir de compras. <ríe> ok, uh, next question. What would you do tomorrow if it were your last day on earth? Oh, shoot. That's a good question. You see, I've never actually thought about that. What would I what would I do tomorrow if tomorrow was my last day here on earth? Okay. 
before I know how to set a zip lining but I already went zip lining and that was horrific <laughs> I would say skydiving but I feel like I'd be even more scared to skydive after I felt what zip lining feels like I don't know if you guys have ever gone zip lining but you get this like feeling in your stomach and it hurts it's like when you go on a roller coaster and it goes up and then it goes down and it's like Ugh. i don't know if you get what i'm saying but i wouldn't go you see i want to go skydiving but i don't know if i would do it okay but going back to the question because i feel like i didn't even answer it what would i do tomorrow if it were my last day I think I would spend it with my family and I would just simply enjoy that day itself and not actually like think of what's gonna come after if that makes sense like I would just spend it with my family um, eat my favorite food and yeah I think that's it <laughs> um, ¿Cuántos años tienes? I'm currently 20, pero yeah, like I said in the question before, I am turning 21 in a few days. So yeah, technically I'm 21, I, you could say, I think. <laughs> Sorry if I keep looking up, I keep like looking at the little screen. I should probably stop, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I keep looking up. <laughs> Next question. ¿Cuál, cuál era? Um, I already answered that one, it's también. If you were given the chance to change one thing in the past four years, what would it be? Wow, those are some deep ass questions. Okay, if I were to change one thing from the past four years, four years, that's a lot if you think about it, four years. I think, um, uh, I would probably say apply more apply to a lot of schools uh, I'm in college now and I think one of my biggest mistakes was just to apply to one school uh, I did only apply to community college because my parents weren't gonna support me financially so it was hard for me to actually apply to other schools and even my dream school because Obviously, I didn't have enough money to afford a university or just something that was not a community college. But I think if I can go back in time and fix that, I would still apply to more schools because I know that FAFSA could have helped me with a lot. And applying to other schools would have given me like a more broader um, pick. I would say a bigger pick of what school I would actually want to go and that's something I learned from I learned from right now because me not applying to other schools is affecting me now because now I have to transfer out and it's hard it really is like I I just don't even know how to explain it it's just hard like I am a first gen student so I don't really know who to ask for help and I know there's a lot of um, students like that out there and it's just hard you know uh, so yeah I would think um, if I could change one thing in the last four years is apply to more schools even if I wasn't like financially set like I would have, I could have still like applied to other schools and maybe FAFSA could have helped me out. But yeah, that is a question. <laughs> I I I like honestly don't even know if I'm answering these questions right, but I hope I am. <laughs> so next question is, what is the best advice you've ever received? I think the best advice I've ever received is. The fastest way to get to your end goal is to go slowly. Like everything happens for a reason. Um, just don't rush it, you know? If it's gonna be for you, it'll fall into place. Like just don't rush it. Like if it's gonna be, it'll be, if that makes sense. So yeah, uh, next question. What's been your biggest mistake and what did you learn from it? My biggest mistake, I think, Going back to the school thing, 
is not applying to a lot of colleges so yeah I think that is probably my biggest mistake and what I've learned from it is now I'm struggling <laughs> and if you apply to more schools uh, you'll get like an aspect of like where you can go where like you got accepted where you got like denied like everything is gonna just fall into place just let God know what he's doing you know God knows what he's doing uh, but yeah that is probably my biggest mistake is not applying to a lot of colleges and just sticking to one okay um estas soltera no no estoy soltera um yeah <laughs> i think that's all i'm gonna say otra pregunta fue los tacos con limón no <laughs> um no me gusta echarle nada a mis tacos like ya sé que tal vez van a estar diciendo que like what mi salsa no like uh, maybe se voy a cilantro nomás pero no de que le eche algo a mis tacos no nada más se voy a cilantro es todo se voy a cilantro y la carne ya like no limón no salsa like no sé <ríe> mi mamá me regaña porque me dice no eres mexicana le tienes que echar salsa y pues a mí la salsa casi no me gusta y luego me dice, ah, pero los chetos de chile, ¿verdad? <ríe> so, yeah. No, no le echo limón a mis tacos. <ríe> ok. Creo ya nomás quedan dos, ya, yeah, nomás quedan dos preguntas más. Entonces, la siguiente pregunta, la next question es, um, When was the last time you got butterflies in your stomach and why? <sighs> You guys are asking really good questions. La última vez that I got butterflies in my stomach. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the last question is, what are three principles you would pass to your... Wait. What are three principles you would want to pass along to your children? <clears throat> principles I would like to pass on to my children. This is a hard question. I don't know if I'm, I would, I'm answering this right. But three principles, uh, I would say like, um, treat everyone kindly, like, understand that there is people different than you and just treat them equally, like you would treat your family, you would treat your friends, like just treat everybody equally. I don't know if I'm answering this right. Uh, the second one would be, um, That's a good question. Oh shoot, I, what else would I do? Like maybe like uh, follow our cultures and pass those on. Um, and the third one would be respect, respect and be honest. I would say like, I would want to like pass on and show them like how to be respectful with everyone. Um, I would like also like show them show them and actually like be a role model on how to be honest because I believe in honesty and I believe that if you're honest everything will fall into place and go your way. I think I answered that right. I think those are the three principles I would pass on to my children. I think I answered that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. But yeah, um that was the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little small video, but my last Q&A of 2021. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye, guys. <laughs>